Hi, my name is Julie, and when I was 18, I had a really crappy boyfriend. It took me two years and two tries, but I eventually left him. We tell women to leave and to stay gone, but we don't talk about what can happen next. I thought leaving him would keep me safe, but things immediately got worse. He banged on the doors of anyone who had ever known me, demanding to know where I was. I had to be moved from place to place in order to avoid being found. I eventually called him from a payphone, begging him to calm down. He later left a note on my car detailing where he had seen me that week and telling me the exact payphone I had called him from. He harassed me, my coworkers, my roommates, my family, my friends. He sent me dead flowers, called me dozens of times a day, and alternated between sending me love poems and sending me suicide notes, telling me he'd kill himself and it would be all my fault. Every time I moved, he'd find out where I lived and I'd have to move again. People told me it was a coincidence. People told me he was just heartbroken. People told me his flowers and notes were grand gestures meant to get me back. You should be flattered. He stalked me for over a decade. In Canada, this is called criminal harassment and women make up 76% of victims and 58% of us are stalked by a former partner. I told few people what was happening. I was embarrassed, but I also knew that telling would only make it worse. So I told myself, he's never going to stop, so just accept it. And then one day, one ordinary day, he died. It was over. Because so few people knew, and because it's not talked about, I didn't know how to process it all. I didn't know how to heal. And to be honest, I still don't. I still struggle. I have post-traumatic stress disorder. I get nightmares. I don't like crowds. I sleep with the windows drawn. But I talk about it. I talk about it because I know we feel alone, but we aren't. Do you know someone who's being stalked? Understand the cycle of abuse. You might not understand why she still loves him or why she struggles with breaking off contact, but telling her, you're smarter than this, get it together, doesn't help. Don't add to the shame and humiliation. Check in and validate. Abusers want us isolated. They want us to believe that no one cares about us. Tell your friend that you see what's happening, you know it's scary, and you won't abandon them. Remind them it's not their fault. If my story hits close to home, I love you and I'm so sorry. Here are a few things I learned that might be helpful. Document, document, document. Criminal harassment is illegal in Canada, but cops are going to want proof. Screen grab every message, keep a log of every call, keep every note and scrap of paper. Write down times, dates, and locations. Lock down all social media and use fake names as much as possible. If you live together and you can't move, tell your landlord and change your locks. If you trust your neighbors, tell them what's happening and make sure they don't let him into the building. If you want to move, know that in Ontario and Alberta, landlords must let you break your lease if you're fleeing violence. Can you afford to send your mail to a P.O. box? If so, do that. Set up a check-in system with some pals. A morning and evening text goes unanswered and your friends will know something's up. Tell them what you want them to do if something's up. Make a plan. Deactivate all GPS and location services on your phone. Never check in on social media. Learn to trust your gut. If you fear things are escalating and you're afraid for your safety, don't let anyone tell you otherwise. And if your friends are worried about you, take them seriously. Sleep at a friend's place, have someone come stay with you, and document, document, document. Lastly, and most importantly, find your crew and lean on them. Your stalker wants you to think that he's the only person in the world who cares about you. He's wrong. He's so wrong. This video was created entirely by donations. No company behind it, no charity, just 87 complete strangers who donated money to create this resource for you. We love you and we want you to be safe and we'll always keep fighting for you.